Kruger. Yay! Come on for Kruger. Good boy. Hi, I'm Jane Rustenberger, and I'm the breeding director here at the Canine Development Center for Guiding Eyes for the Blind. We started guiding eyes in 1954, and since then have placed 6,500 guide dogs throughout the United States and in many parts of the world. As part of Guiding Eyes for the Blind, the Canine Development Center is more than just a place. It's a group of staff and hundreds of volunteers who work together to lay the foundation for our puppies to become future guide dogs. A key part of the Canine Development Center is our puppy raising program. And for those of you considering raising a puppy for us, we can't thank you enough because without you, we wouldn't have guide dogs. Puppy raisers open up their homes to help prepare the dog for the future task become a guide. So puppy raisers provide a loving and nurturing home for these pups. Puppy raisers initially come in for classes. They teach them the basic house manners. A really important thing that we depend on puppy raisers to do is to socialize our pups to the world and the environment around them to build the confidence for the puppies so that the pups get the attitude of, that was a train, that was a bus. I'm up for it, I've done it. I'm confident about it, I've had a good experience with it. And that the pup has a really good time while they're there. Socialization is a huge thing. Getting them to new places and used to all different things because that's what they'll be doing as a guide. As you can imagine as a guide, the pressure and the choices that you're making every day and walking around streets would be tough. So it's really important that our puppy raisers are out there building our dogs confidence in these things so that when they are needing to make these decisions while wearing the harness and actually guiding somebody, that they're comfortable to do so. Puppy raisers come from all walks of life. We have large families, small families, individuals raising dogs. We have college students raising dogs, some with other dogs at home, other animals, some with none at all. I myself have actually raised two dogs and know firsthand the time and the commitment and the effort goes into the pups. It's incredibly rewarding. I've grown so much raising these dogs and it takes patience, love and a lot of hard work but it's definitely worth it. Here at Guiding Eyes we're committed to providing all the necessary support to our puppy raisers. Every single person at the Guiding Eyes facility they love what they do, and they care about what you're going through and why you're there. Puppy raisers really truly give the ultimate gift of raising a potential guide dog. What they do in opening their homes for those 14 to 16 months, the time and effort that goes into these pups, the love that's obviously shown, the care that's given to them is, is outstanding. We would not be as successful as we are as a guide dog school without having the tremendous support from the puppy raisers that we do. It's an incredible process to watch them from eight weeks old until a mature, you know, two plus year pup working in a harness guiding somebody. It's a pretty spectacular thing. I have been blind since birth. I was diagnosed at three with retinitis pigmentosa. I would always have to be continuously focused on what was around me, what I was grazing against with my arms. That really wears you down over time. The first time I worked with Vasco, it was like being shot out of a cannon. To move not only so quickly, but fluidly. Vasco is such an amazing animal. A large reason for that is Kelly. She set the groundwork for his future training at Guiding Eyes. He is an explorer, and now that we're a team, we're explorers. Every aspect of life, of how I move, of where I go, has all changed positively. I am the recipient of an incredibly profound gift. Vasco is a gift with four legs. <laughs>